Sí, uh, aquí está bien, ahorita yo la meto. What's up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys can see, they just delivered some more product for my vending machine business. So today, I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna fill up some vending machines, collect some money. But first, let's actually take all the new product inside. Let's organize it and show you guys what I got. We do get deliveries every single week. Last week's order was actually very big. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it. But we always order a lot of chips, which is those big boxes you guys see in the back. I'm not gonna open up every single box. I mean, it's chips. If you guys wanna see kind of what we sell, we have some up here. We have everything from Sun Chips, Ruffles, Hot Fries, Funyuns. Every type of chip you normally see in a vending machine, we most likely have. I don't know what they put inside of these cookies, but they sell so fast everywhere. And they're good. They are good. You know what? The flavors mm. are melting on my tongue. We gotta stop selling these. I eat way too many. They haven't seen the warehouse. Should we show them real quick? Yeah. We've been here one year and there's still a lot of things we want to do, like paint the walls, add decorations, maybe some LED lights. So this is not the final product, but over here in the corner, we have some vending machines. Some of them are broken, other ones are ready for location. That's kind of just what I keep right now. Moving on to the left side of the warehouse, we have a whole bunch of shelves with product. The first one is actually extra parts for the machines, like bill acceptors, coin mix, tools, and the rest of it is all the snacks. Look at this, look how cool it looks. It's looking a little empty. Well, that's why we got some more product. <laughs> I will never forget how much product we used to keep at the first apartment. You remember? It used to be a little closet. And over here, I got a ton of drinks as you guys can see. You know, a lot of bottles, a lot of soda cans. And then up here is where I keep all the cookies and you know, pastries, candy. And of course, on the other wall, we have all the drinks, which we have how many pallets? Like 10 pallets of <laughs> drinks. We don't even have a break room. Look at this. It's our couch. I mean, we have a couch, a little mini fridge. Oh, this is actually where we keep all the frozen food. Which there's nothing in there. Why? <laughs> I left it open again. Bruh. Again? You guys hear that? Again. <laughs> everything spoiled, everything was bad, so we had to throw everything out. I'm sorry. A couple months ago, one of my locations wanted me to set the vending machine for free so that employees could come and grab whatever they wanted. I would then charge the company at the end of the month for everything the employees took. And I know you guys have been waiting for an update ever since. So right now we're actually going up there to check it out. I will say this is by far my favorite break room out of all my locations. Like they have everything from TVs, couches, a ping pong table, and of course the best part, free snacks. Like is this a job or do people just get paid to come hang out? Like I wish I worked here, where the applications at? The funny thing about everything being free though is that we had a small issue of employees taking a handful of drinks at the end of the day, which, which is good for me, but the company didn't like that. They had to put a sign to only take what you're gonna drink, if not, they're gonna take away the free feature. So I would've been that guy though. You know, at the end Honestly? of the day, take a handful of, you know, some <laughs> Celsius. And that's it, we're done with the drink machine. Everything in here is actually drinks that they've requested. So they got some pretty good taste. They got everything from Starbucks, Celsius. I'm actually so tempted to take some of this freshly squeezed orange juice. That's not freshly squeezed. But you can't eat the product. It has to have pulp. Let me know if you guys like pulp or no pulp. I'm a pulp type of guy. I'm sorry, I guess I just like the pulp. Now you guys know this is a collection video, so let's not leave without. I could technically leave the machine open, no? no. I mean, they can't steal nothing, obviously. But then how will we track it? We could have put a fridge. 
like little market instead of machines. Because what if they grab something, but they don't want it, they change their mind? We've seen that. Somebody grabs a drink, they don't want it, and they just leave it around. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the snack machine. Just like I said earlier, it's actually not set to free, but everything in the machine is 50 cents and I still charge the company the rest of it at the end of the month. So they don't use it as much. It makes about 50 bucks a month. We're not even filling up the snack. I don't know why I opened it. Just wanted to show you guys. You fill it up what, like once a month, right? Yeah. It has, a, it has some weight to it. Did you not collect the last time? I, I think I did. $8 the machine made in the last week. That's why I'm saying I want to take out both machines and bring in a fridge and like a rack because this is a six wide machine. This machine is way too big to be having here. And guess what I got? What? Do you guys see that? We're about to try Mr. B's burger. Oh, can we keep this sticker? So I got Mr. B's burger. Which one, oh, which one did you get? I got Chris's burger. Look how old this bacon is. Look at it. Come on, Mr. Beast. What is this? He didn't make it. You don't know that? Could be back there in that kitchen whipping it up. In Fort Worth? I mean, they're fries. Don't say it's so negative. I am starving also, though, so I have to, like, take off a few points. Because when you're starving, you know, you think everything's good. You can eat, like, you can eat a taco off the floor and think it's, like, the best thing ever. That's fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting maybe like um, kind of like a McDonald's burger, but this is pretty good. Like I'm it's so good. It's, it's up not. there. Yeah. We are at the next location. It's a big building with multiple medical businesses inside. So we have the machine right in the lobby, so all the patients and employees see it as soon as they walk in. Okay, so we just had a couple employees leave. They told us to put better stuff in the machine, like hot Cheetos. What else they say? Like unhealthy stuff. <laughs> Basically, the opposite of that. Yeah, so since it is a medical building, people come here to get better. Of course, we can't put a Snickers bar in there, some Skittles. So we have a whole bunch of healthy stuff, like baked chips, Cliff bars, crackers. For the drinks, we mainly have zero sugar drinks, so everything is still full, nothing really sells. But last time I came, I tested something out. I put Diet Coke and monster and guess what it's the only one that actually sold out these two rows <laughs> i mean i want to i want to put more in healthy stuff but i don't want to get in trouble i mean they specifically said to put healthier items when we place the machine so i'm gonna do what they say and just keep it that way that was one off <laughs> we are done filling up the machine. We did move some product around, so we have to change the prices. And to do that, you have to come over here. You first want to take the bill acceptor off. You want to press the door switch two times. One, two, and last but not least, you want to unscrew the compressor. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's not complicated. You just press the button on the board, come to the front. And this is why I like machines with touch screens, because it's so easy. Like, look at this. You can just scroll through all the settings really easy instead of having to press buttons. See, when we first got this machine, I didn't know that you could scroll it. So this one time, <laughs> it was like that. So the button for to set prices wasn't there, and I didn't know how to, how to get there. And you called me. I you called were like, you. <laughs> she called me, and she was like, hey, how do you change the prices on this machine? And I was like, did you try scrolling? And she was like, oh. <laughs> But basically, you scroll up to where it says set prices, and this is every single selection in the machine. You click the one you want to change, and it's simple as that. You know what I hate when machines have prices that aren't by 25 cent increments? Like, I've seen machines where they sell something for like a dollar 60 or like a dollar 80. Like, just make it 175. Do you really think people only carry quarters? 
You guys know the drill. We're about to leave. Let's collect the cash. This is a once a month location, so there might not be a lot, but it should still be pretty good. You ready? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, everyone, we made it back to the warehouse. Before I end the video, I know you guys want to know exactly how much I collected from the two locations. So let me go through the numbers real quick. The first location is actually pretty busy. We go there once a week, but they close three days out of the week. So technically every four days, but the total was $256. So it does average about $1,000 every single month. The second location is a lot slower. We only go there once a month, but that location did $217. It's pretty low, but at the same time, we actually have another location across the street, which is the reason why we still keep it because it's close to another one. Anyways, guys, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but look at all the trash we have at the warehouse right now. I'm actually about to go throw away all the trash right now since I'm leaving to Vegas today for the next couple days. So I'm actually in Vegas right now as you guys are watching this video. This is only three or four days worth of trash, but yeah, I mean, this is how much product it takes to fill up 40 vending machines. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down below, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Pick a chip, any chip. This one. Is You're this your chip? <laughs> You're making it ugly. Is this your chip? Yes.